Hey YouTube, I am Kaushik. Welcome to SK Academy. Most of the people are afraid of math and they are feared about rules and methods. And those stuff is quite boring. So I am here to show you people that how math amazing is. In this video, I am going to explain top 6 mysterious math proofs that makes most people in ambiguous situation. So let's get ready to make a journey towards math and magic. Proof number 1. What is the value of 0 0.0999 tends to infinity equals to 1? Most of you say that it's approximately equals to 1, but it's exactly equals to 1. Let's see how it's possible. We can write this integer equation as 0 0.033 plus 0 0.033 tends to infinity plus 0 0.033 tends to infinity. This integer form we can write it as in fractional form as 1 over 3rd plus 1 over 3rd plus 1 over 3rd and by doing little bit of LCM we will get 1 proof number 2 what is the value of 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 plus 4 plus 10 up to so on tends to infinity equals to 1 most of you say that it might be infinity since the all the numbers are double by its present term, right? I don't know. Let's do it to solve. But you have to remember two things. Anything multiplied by 1 is the same. And we can write the value of 1 as 2 minus 1. So I am simply multiplying this whole term by 1. I'm right, And I am rewriting this 1 as 2 minus 1. And I am multiplying by splitting these terms like 2 times the whole equation minus 1 times the whole equation. And by simply multiplying the whole by 2, I will get 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus. And by simply multiplying the whole term by 1, I will get 1 plus 2 plus 4. See here, plus 2 and minus 2 gets cancelled plus 4 minus 4 gets cancelled plus 8 minus 8 will gets cancelled all the right hand term will be cancelled out by the left hand term clear and we will simply get negative 1 proof number 3 why a power 0 equals to 1 I am writing the power as 5 minus 5 since it's 0 by splitting the powers as a power 5 into a power minus 5 this negative power comes to denominator that means a power 5 over a power 5 by simply dividing we will get the 1 proof number 4 by 0 power 0 equals to infinite let's do the same I am writing the power here as 2 minus 2 that means 0 by splitting 0 power 2 into 0 power minus 2 this 0 power minus 2 comes to denominator 0 power 2 over 0 power 2 0 times 0 is 0 over 0 times 0 is 0 that means 0 over 0 is infinite proof number 5 why does 0 factorial is equal to 1? Have you wondered about this? Just take a quick review. n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times up to so on tends to 1. If you want to write 4 factorial as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 that means 24. If you furtherly write 3 factorial as 4 factorial over 4 that means 24 over 4 is 6 and if you want to write 2 factorial you can write as 3 factorial over 3 that means 6 over 3 is 2 and if you want to write 1 factorial you can simply divide the 2 factorial over 2 that means 2 over 2 is 1 and by simply you can find the 0 factorial as 1 factorial over 1 the value of 1 factorial is 1, 1 over 1 is the 1. 
प्रूफ नंबर सिक्स वट इज अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस दैट मीन्स सम ऑफ द ऑल नेचुरल नंबर टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी इक्वल्स टू वट मैं से इन्फिनिटी सिंस ऑल द नंबर आर इन द पॉजिटिव एंड आर इन द अरेंजमेंट दैट एवरी नंबर इज इंक्रीजिंग द प्रिसेडिंग नंबर बाय वन बट यू आर नॉट इन द राइट पाथ इफ यू डेल विथ द क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स विच डील विथ द इंटरेक्शन एमंग द सब ऑटोमिक पार्टिकल्स एक्टिंग एट इन नैनो स्केल्स सेज दैट द सम ऑफ ऑल नेचुरल नंबर्स अप टू इन्फिनिटी टेंस टू द वैल्यू ऑफ नेगेटिव वन ओवर ट्वेल्व I am going to show now how it is. To do so, I need to prove three things. First one, one plus one minus one plus one minus one tends to infinity, and I am considering this equation as x. It's just a simple sum, okay? If I consider this equation as by putting brackets evenly, and if I consider the same equation by neglecting the first term, it results to one. That means if I stop this equation at even position, it results to zero, and if I stop this at odd position, it results to one. Suppose if I subtract the whole equation from one, it results to the same. That means one minus x equals to x, and x equals to one over two. And the second thing is the value of one minus. Two plus three minus four plus five. That the signs are changing alternately. So I'm to do solve. I'm adding the same to it by attaching zero in front of it. See here in the second equation, I'm adding a zero in front of it. If I uh, add these two equations, I will get y plus y equals to two y. One plus zero equals to one. Minus two plus one. Is equals to minus one, so it is rounds to the value which I have previously done. The value is equals to one over two. That means two y equals to one over two, y equals to one over four. I finally reached the my proof. So let's see how to solve this. And to do so, I need to subtract this my proof from the previous value. That means One minus one plus three, so one tends to infinity. If I subtract these two, one minus one is equal to zero. Minus two minus of minus two that results to four. Three minus three results to zero. See here, here you will have minus. Plus four minus of minus four equals to y. That means if I take four common from this equation, that means four times one. Four times the whole equation. That means z minus y equals to four z. If I solve this equation, I will get y equals to three z. So the value of y is previously we have done. It is one over four. That means z is negative one over twelve.